Hello Aquarius, this is your February reading for 2021, the first couple of weeks of February, okay? And I'm going to try to do the love soulmate reading in the middle of February, or like around Valentine's Day. We're having a Mercury in retrograde, so some of you may actually hear from somebody that um, you had dealings with. You may have to be uh, revisiting certain things. Happens all the time with, you know, Aquarius, especially within yourself, how you change yourself. So let's see what's going on for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising. New energies, positive energies, five cards spread. Plus, I'll be giving you the mini pick, pick three card reading. These are like the really super thick um, naked heart cards, okay? Uh, I don't always like to do this, but people like to shuffle this way. You know, they like to see you shuffle this way, but it's going to bend up the cards a little bit. Let's see what the incoming energy is. I'm reading from... The eighth house tarot is the clarifiers. The incoming energy, child of pentacles. Some of you may be looking for stability or waiting for messages of stability. Maybe you're afraid they're never going to come in. For some of you, you could be dealing with someone of a younger type, earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Maybe you're waiting to hear a message from them. Maybe something's up with them. Let's find out more, okay? Past position, change came. You were trying to keep busy or you were wanting to keep busy. But I see this as the Two of Pentacles as major changes that has to do with your stability and finances, okay? The obstacle, you're giving up hope. You're having trouble believing, Aquarius, that it's going to happen. Nine of Cups, current environment hasn't happened yet, because remember, we're doing for February. A lot of you haven't experienced this. You will get a wish. You'll get wish fulfillment in something. Remember, we're clarified. Tell us more information, okay? What is coming towards you? Six of Cups, someone from the past. Like I said, sometimes that happens. Six of Cups is sometimes emotional memories from the past or people from the past, but something that kind of gotten away of this relationship with you. We'll find out more. The outcome. Someone you had a karmic situation with. You still have unfinished business with this person in some way or another. You are getting wish fulfillment. But someone is coming towards you that is from the past. Memories from the past. Someone that maybe hurt you a little bit. Could have been the child of pentacles. Um, someone younger. It could be an earth sign, but it doesn't have to be. It could be somebody. Um, someone that you thought should be more stable in life. It could have been someone from, like I said, your youth. Let's see what's going on. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. I need the clarifiers for February 2021, the first couple of weeks. I'll go ahead and split shuffle these, even though I do shuffle these prior to even turning on the video. But like I said, they like people like to see it split shuffle, but it's really hard on the cards, especially if you have small hands. But let's see what's going on. Now, you got the two of pentacles. I said it's about change, about stability and change. I need two cards for that to find out more information. Because some of you may not experience this yet, okay, for Aquarius. Seven of Air, someone that hurt, that tried to mess you over, it could be the King of Air, or that could be your energy, where you felt someone messed you over, so, you know, that were sneaky, they did something underhanded, they may even stole from you, which changed up a situation, and now you're thinking it's hopeless. The obstacle is regaining hope in a situation, you know? So I need two cards for the Star card that's in reverse in the obstacle position for Aquarius. King of water, hopeless with a water sign maybe for some of you. Ace of fire, having a new passionate beginning. Maybe you're thinking there's not going to be a new passionate beginning. You're losing hope in that with a possible water sign, water or fire sign. That's a water fire card. No, oh, that wants to come out. Let's leave it there for a second. But I want two cards for the nine of cups, wish fulfillment. For Aquarius, something rising. magician you can manifest what you're wishing for right now 
you can make a make make a major transformation. Some of you may be dealing with the Scorpio at this time, but I see this as I call it the transformation card because it's exactly what it is. Where something you put away from you that you you that no longer served you, and now you're getting wish fulfillment. You're able to manifest something that you really want. The Empress and growth and blessings. Some of you may be trying to have a baby. Some of you, not all of you, just for a few of you. You may accomplish that. You may make a major transformation in your life. Knight of Earth. What is coming towards you? The Knight of Earth. It could be Earth or Air. Because this outside environment coming towards you. Like I said, it could be an earth sign, but I think it's like more stable energies or someone who that you had a past situation with that kind of went amok has become more stable, but I need two more cards for that. Cards want to pop out? You let them. Five of water. They're disappointed on the outside. The emperor. They're trying to regain control in their life. And some of you, them, or it could be an Aries. That's an Aries card. But I see as someone trying to regain control or dealing with controlling, trying to control their whole situation in general. And they're disappointed. And they become more solid. But you maybe you maybe had words with them. Because I'd see it as a karmic situation. Someone you had some karma with. So the universe in reverse, I need two cards. Unfinished business. Do you understand that? That's what it means. I need two cards for the universe in reverse. The moon. Night of air. That could be you. Someone you had an emotional situation with. Maybe a psychic ability. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces. I see all the signs here. But it has it really did affect your emotions. It really in a way I'm feeling like a loss of strength in some way, even though I don't have the strength card here. <clears throat> that it really was deep seated with you. This this karmic situation you had. This here says a queen of water. Could be a water sign or emotions become more sound, more calm in the whole situation. Something you've been waiting for. But I do see where someone is, is going to contact you or they're thinking about you. They're very, very disappointed. Um, and they're trying to regain control. Someone you had words with, you know. You are getting wish fulfillment no matter what happens. You're able to manifest and, you know, get your, the blessings you want. But it's like, um, you maybe you think you lost hope in the king of water. But this is the queen of water, but it's the same thing. Basically, the emotions in check. It could be someone just a little bit older than you also. Let's find out more. Let's do the pick a card reading. Maybe it'll tell us more. I'm going to do the romance cards for the angels. Or Aquarius, someone rising for the first two weeks of February 2021. I need three cards. And as you know, you pick what you feel more drawn to, compelled to. That'll be the strongest energy for you. But I do try to bring them all together at the end for secondary energies. Yeah, a lot of times they do relate. Angel Answers. We need to know more from the angels. It may tell us about love also. It may tell us about something else, but it's what you need to know. You are getting wish fulfillment. That thing that's pretty cool. So whatever is coming towards you, it's still going to be okay with you in the long run. But I need three cards from the angel answers for Aquarius in the first part of February 2021. And three cards from the Moonology. Give us more information, what we need to know for Aquarius Sun Moon Rising. February 2021, first couple weeks. I felt like someone kind of messed you over. And it kind of like, like I said... Split you up a little in some in your friendships or whatever it was, an emotional attachment you had. Now let's get to the pick of three. You pick this section. Playfulness is at hand. You're going to start enjoying yourself in the very near future. You have helpful people around you. They want to help you. So you're going to have fun again in the future. If you're wondering if life will ever improve, yes. I also see you getting wish fulfillment and probably from um, helpful people. Your dreams need a practical plan, so be practical and start planning it and going for it. It's okay. Go ahead and play. 
But if you're going to plan something, make sure while you're playing and enjoying yourself that you still take care of business, okay? Take care of business. you got helpful people that's going to be there for you. I see nothing wrong with this area at all. It's just more or less a lot of relaxation, things starting to take off, things became, becoming more stable and fun again. You pick this section. It's time to flirt and enjoy yourself <clears throat> and forgive others and forgive even yourself, okay? It's time to flirt and enjoy yourself and forgive, okay? It's a time rather to um, give and take. So give yourself. Go out there and enjoy yourself. Flirt. Let people know who you are, okay? Time to forgive the past. I'm not saying you have to take people back. I'm not saying you have to... Um, uh, let yourself open to that again, you know, anything that's hurtful, but let it go so you can enjoy the people that are coming in in front of you, okay? And, you know, give a little bit of yourself. Don't hold back because some of you may think about holding back. Some of you may be going to a wedding or having a, a committed relationship soon, okay? Very committed relationship, so don't worry if you're ever going to meet somebody. That's what it's saying. Don't worry. It's going to happen and prosperity lies ahead, Okay? Now, bringing these all together, be playful, flirt, whoever you're playing and flirtful with, it may end up being something really solid. Um, someone out there is helpful, so give also of yourself. Don't take, don't hold back is what I'm saying. Give part of yourself, because I feel like a lot of you have held back. Um, forgiveness is at hand, so don't worry. You are going to find somebody. You're going to have a stable relationship in the future, whether it's from someone in the past or a new one. you got something coming up. It's time to enjoy yourself. Um, start making practical plan for your future because you got prosperity coming ahead. And remember, give of yourself. Don't always hold back. I do see wish fulfillment coming in. I do see where um, you got someone coming towards you that wants to take more control of your life. Maybe it's this person, but it could be another person because you're going towards something that you're wanting to do. But you are having to take a little bit care of unfinished business with someone you were dealing with. But I also say, see that you can manifest whatever you want. Even though someone took advantage of you and life had changed for you, hey, it looks like you're heading for something pretty solid soon. I'm going to let this go. I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Bye.